Wow, this thing was first released in 22. And in my opinion, it still holds up. Perfect for what it was built for, like streaming games as well as Android games. And for emulation. For my experience, it's been perfect for consoles like Sega Saturn, PSP, and even Dreamcast. And with all the new handhelds out there, the specs today, I could probably say, I probably way past this, but this old guy likes to enjoy the moment. And what I love most is relaxing playing some Soul Blazer on SNES with this bright, crisp colors using this 1080 screen. Plus streaming some Game Pass in their library. It's a handheld I still respect. And what's wild, it's a price is still just about the same. Well, when I first got mine, I paid about 350 and now it's about 300. I don't know. I don't know if that's a big difference, which I'm not going to mess with that. I'd rather just hear your opinion. Anyway. All right. I caught wind that emulation station dropped for Android, but it's not available on Google Play Store. I didn't want to dig into the reason why, but I figured they'll eventually get it on there anyway. So in the meantime, I felt that this is the perfect device for me to set up and peep out emulation station. Now, those those of you new that's following the emulation scene, it's it's like a it's basically like a front end, like Big Box and Daisho. I don't know if I said that name, which which that's which that's the one I've been using, you know, pretty much. So so just hang with me as I install this. Again, I'm not gonna call this a how-to video, just in case I make mistake. You can follow, see the process as I walk as I walk through and and what I did and bear with me because I'm really not good at explaining, <laughs> which I always say that. And if you're able to get your device going with emulation station on Android, let me know. And if you just rather just stick to what you currently have, like the Dai show or the front end that's that's stock, that's that's fine. That's awesome. You know, so and if there's and if there's a quicker if there's quicker tips, please let me know in the comments that that would really be a big help. I may not be good at this. It's just to me, it's good that we all help each other and get our handhelds to have that pimping super fly setup. That's right. <laughs> now let's get started. What is going on you guys? Your boy Famous Kid Video Game Entertainment. And before we go any further, make sure you hit the like, subscribe button. Click like, subscribing is always a big help. I got goals and my goal is not only to set up emulation station. My goal is to be able to see videos of my game from Scraper for and, and for an added bonus for me. When I turn on this G Cloud, I want to hop straight into emulation station, given that awesome nostalgic view. That's just me. This is me. I know that it already got front ends if you want to just go right into the other one, but I just want to hop right into this whole nostalgia thing. So, and you could do this on pretty much any Android, you know, I meant with, with control. So if say for instance, you have have the, the Razer Edge or you have like other Android devices that you want to be able to use emulation station. Yeah, I, I believe that this is go for anything pretty much. So I think we're all good. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and plug this thing up to a capture device and then we're going to get everything going. All right, but there's a few things I need to do first. First, we're going to look for our file explorer or file manager and we're going to make a folder called es that's es slash de then we're going to go to our sd card we're going to create a roms folder which is rom caps with a small s then after that we're going to go back go to your favorite browser whatever you use then we're just going to type in app store amazon app store okay we're going to click on that and it should be like the first thing that we see right there boom okay after we down after we do that we're going to go get the app get the app click on that it's going to take a couple of seconds and give it a couple of seconds it's going to download on its own should download on its own okay download anyway yep of course then after that we're going to open then after we open it up we're going to say install okay so we're going to start this application okay then after that once you do that you um what we're going to do we're going to open that up then it's going to you, you know it's amazon so you got to sign in so sign in then you're going to go to your search and you're gonna type in emulation station, okay? We're gonna pay for that, but it's gonna ask you a question before you do that. So you're gonna allow those apps, boom. Then you're gonna go back and then go pay for it. <laughs> and then go pay for it, it's gonna be five bucks. Then you're gonna install it, okay? Okay, once you do that, you're gonna open it up. Yep, it should be starting, it's gonna be begin setup. Now, remember, it's gonna, um, and you're gonna do your permissions. You're gonna say allow all this crap. Yep, and then after that, we're gonna select the directory. Remember, see the ESDE, we're gonna select that directory. That's, I have that on the root of my of my device. So it's already set up. So use this folder, say allow, boom. Now we're gonna select that directory. Then we're gonna to go to our SD card. Then 
that's my Samsung SD card. And then I'm gonna look for that ROM. Then right there, you're gonna, you're gonna hit that and you're gonna slap that, slap that like a big booty and say allow. Yep. And then that's gonna create those, you're gonna create those, uh, those ROM folders inside of it. So, and you're gonna be good. So, so hit that create button. There we go. And yes, you understand that we finna do this and get going. So, go ahead and rub on that then now it's just going to start going through that front end and it's going to get started so now you're just going to quit because <laughs> you don't need this right now so so yeah so now we're going to take that out go back to our file explorer whatever you use for your file explorer we're going to go scroll down and we're going to go back to our sd card sd card we're going to go all the way down and make sure our rums is there so everything's looking good so all of our files is there looking good so but there's no games in it so it's not gonna recognize that we put our games in it but it's already set up so we're good i just want to make sure that that's working because i just like i said i might screw up so now you can go to your rums and then we're gonna i'm gonna use master system for right now so you're gonna what i usually like to do you just press and hold and then go to the go to the three dots and then select all go back to the three dots then you're gonna say copy to Thing. now I go to my SD card and basically just gonna look for that ROMs folder and go, yep, look, go down and look for my ROMs folder. Then we're gonna go to that master system. There we go. And then copy here. Let that, let that go ahead and just uh spew all up inside that, that uh the SD card for our, in that folder. Then after that, I think I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna do a couple more if I'm not mistaken. Let's, uh, let me see, let me do a, let's do another one. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do another one. Okay. So we're gonna do SNES, same old exact thing. And then I might just do more. Now you're gonna see two SNES folders and then the other person says S, SNES NA, which is North America, which I am an American. So we're just gonna slap that there, okay? And we're gonna go there and just let that, let that chill. It doesn't matter which folder it is, it doesn't matter. But okay, now I'm gonna put the Saturn, I'm gonna do some Saturn ones up in here too. So that way, that'll set that up. Now. Now, after we get through with that, we're gonna go back. Now, you know what? Let me put this app on the front, just in case I need it. Just, just as, that's just, okay? That way it'd be just more easier for me to just click on it and just go from there. All right, so we're gonna open this up and let's see, making sure that our consoles, yep, there we go. So I put a few consoles up on here. I might not get through with this whole thing all in one in one sitting, so. um. So now that we got this all working and if, let me see if we click on it, everything, our game should be there, but no, I'm just going to go to, I'm just going to do a couple of little things. Now, if you want to, and you don't like that little overlay of the thing, which it goes away after you come, you move around a little bit, you can go right to where it says like touch overlay and you can just select that off and then that should go off. But that's a, I'm not really tripping off that. So, but right now we're gonna go to the UI settings and we're gonna theme downloader. So we're gonna get a couple of themes. I'm gonna get like maybe like two themes. I'm not gonna really like dig it in too much because I just wanted to just show you. So we're gonna get our theme downloader. I'm gonna get like a couple of them. Yeah, I'm gonna get a couple of these, set these up and then get the download and something. See which one, I'm, this one looks cool. And then I'll probably get one more. I'm gonna get one more. But anyway, we're gonna go back. And then, so then we're gonna go ahead and set our theme. So now we're gonna set our theme. Ah, this one looks good. I like this one. So now we got a little, so now we got a new theme and that looks nice. So, so now we're gonna go back and now we're, we're going to go. And if you want to look at your emulators and set like change your emulators, you can, you can go right here to alternative emulators and you can change that. That's if you, if you pretty much is familiar with emulation station. Okay. Now we don't see nothing. There's just games. But we want to get that. We want to go ahead and get that scraper. Remember my goal I said I wanted to get with the uh, box art and I want to get videos. Okay, so go to Screen Scraper. You got to have an account. Okay, so go online and get your an account. Or screen Scraper is, is really awesome. So me, I'm going to go ahead and sign in. You just got to go to your account settings and you're going to put, you're going to um, click on your username and password. Yep. And then you'll go back and you're going to start. Then so give it a bit. This takes a long time. So that's the reason why I said I'm not going to get through this whole thing because getting all the box art and the, the videos, it takes a long time, especially if you got a really extensive library. So I'm going to try to just fast forward through this and then um, we're going to get back because it takes it takes it takes a bit to, to get this stuff. But as you can see, some of them is some of them is downloading. So now we got video. Look at that. So now when I look at it, when I look at a game, I can go ahead and see, that's awesome. That is awesome. Okay. Now that we're looking at, now we, now it's starting to get exciting because at this point in time, we get to see, we get to see those videos of those old games and get to view 
like like just like a sample of it and i think that that's so cool that is really nice so after that now we gotta do some more stuff okay <laughs> i gotta do some some other stuff so next we're going to go ahead and we're gonna quit okay we're gonna quit we're gonna get out because there's some other stuff that we have to do okay so we're gonna go back to our play store this time this time we're going to our play store now and we're gonna download a few apps okay so we're gonna download any home and it's gonna look like a home and then you're gonna click on that and let that let that go ahead and install install that and then we're gonna we're gonna go to the search again and to click on the search <laughs> and then we're going to type in towel shortcuts okay so we're gonna get towel shortcut okay it looks like a little paintbrush and then then after that, we're gonna do my drawer. So we got three things. Look like a little krillin sitting to the side, the little, little dots right there. There we go. So we're gonna install that. Okay, so after that, get through installing. We're gonna we're gonna open this one up. This one, click on here. Okay. And then we're gonna accept the prior policy. Then then they're gonna they're gonna get all your apps. Okay. Now that we got our apps, and, and now we got our apps, we're just gonna cancel that part. And then now we got everything that's right here. So it shows all of our apps. This, there's a reason why we're doing this because this is gonna make things easier from, from when we when we go back to Emulation Station. So now we're just gonna, before that, we're gonna go to categories and we're gonna click off all this crap right here. I don't need none of that. <laughs> I just don't. So that's just all in your categories. If you wanna keep that, that's up to you, but don't need it, <laughs> don't need it. So after that's done, what we're gonna do, we're going to leave. <laughs> we're gonna leave. Oh, oh, don't forget, you got, if you wanna hide like an app, we're gonna you can you can take an app and you can actually hide it. So so with that point, I don't really need that that Amazon, so I can hide that. So after that, I'm just gonna leave here. Then go back to the desktop. Then now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to we're gonna go to shortcut. Click off of here because you're just trying to get to the thing. So it's just trying to teach you how to add. We don't care about that. Just go ahead and put that. Yep. Go ahead, click off that too. Then we're gonna go. We're gonna go to where it says app. Okay. We're going to scroll down and we're going to select my drawer. So we got to get my drawer set up in there. Then after that, we could just exit this part out. Okay. So no, as long as you got my drawer in there, we're gonna exit that part out. Now, now once we do that, we're gonna we're gonna um fo uh, fold your thing down to you each little menu, and then you're gonna go to your pencil icon. So not that particular one you're gonna go to that one so where it's like your setting try to get this right <laughs> so i'm gonna click on i'm gonna click on there there we go and then now you got those other apps that you see right here so what we want to do is get is get an app that's very much at the bottom so let me just scroll down let's scroll down right here i know it's at the bottom there he is right there okay so we got so we got that so we're gonna get that towel the towel one Tile shortcut, and we're gonna drag drag that all the way up to the top, which would be like just way more easier. Okay. Then after that, we're done with that part. Okay. So that's already that's already set up, set in stone. Okay. Then now we're gonna go to any home. We're gonna get ES themes. I mean ES the, your emulation station. You're gonna click on your emulation station. Okay. Now at that very moment in time, your emulation station is going to open up. Okay. But we don't need emulation station we need to close it so we just need to click on that that was the only thing we need to do so now now we, we're pretty much almost there so at that mo at that very moment in time then now we have everything's pretty much set up so now we just go back now we just got to go to our menu and then we're going to type in home so you can do your default home app okay and then we're going to click on any home that's the one you want to get you want to get it on any home so that's the one we're going to click because we already set everything up so now because any home is has our emulation station <laughs> so now which opens that up now but check this out if you fan your menu down right down we're going to fan it down just one more time so that way you can see okay set this up and look check it out now you got my drawer because you're because when you fold your menu, uh, thing down, you can go to my drawer and that's where all your apps is. So now you're all set up. Everything's set up. So the only thing now is to make sure when we reset this thing, it's going to come back on with emulation station starting. I need to do a test. So in order for me to do that test to make sure everything's working yeah, and let's, let's, let's get back to the to the handheld part. Moment of truth. All right. So I just reset it, turned it off really, then turned it back on. So now let's see. Hopefully this works. Hopefully I did everything right. Let's okay. Tablet is starting. What? There we is. Emulation station right there. Right there. Yep. And just like I said, I could just move this around. 
and after moving this around yep the overlay goes away and yep i'm ready to rock now all i gotta do is just do the rest of my stuff but i'm just gonna do that later on i just wanted to just make sure that i got everything working so i'm gonna have fun setting this whole thing up so i'm gonna end it right here because i did enough yeah i've been probably repeating myself you know how it goes but yeah i am happy with this this is awesome now i have everything i need and to set up the way i want to and even when i start my game up right here i don't know i just i don't know even when i see the on screen it's easy for me because i'll just i'll just push this little arrow button right here and and it just goes away so that's just simple for me so all right you guys i'm gonna end it right here thank you guys for chilling with me if you made it this far i truly appreciate it all right now and from gamer to gamer thanks for watching mm -hmm.